What is up everybody, AJ here. Before we jump into the video, if you guys like these videos, doing me a huge favor by leaving a thumbs up, it actually helps up a ton. And if you want to see more stuff like this in the future, go ahead and click the subscription icon and the bell notification to have them updated in your sub feed when the new videos go live. So, Armor Core 6 has reviewed a 13 minute gameplay trailer. I'm not sure whether I'll be checking out this game on day 1, but I'll be playing this game for sure. But I'm not sure whether it will be day 1 or not. Anyhow, um, let's just check out this um, 13 minute gameplay trailer. Alright, Armor Core, let's see what you got. Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon Gameplay Preview. Right. Hello, and thanks for checking out the video. You're welcome. With this footage, we'll introduce our new mech action game, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We hope it gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. Prior to Armored Core the 6, future, right? we're the... commonplace. The one mecha game that I really looking forward to the most is um, Gundam Extreme Versus. But as of this moment, right, um, that game is only available in the arcades and in um, PlayStation. I'm just waiting for the day that the game will be available on PC. Your position is grid one three five. Wow, the graphics! Oh, that this this sixty FPS. Graphics cool. Ooh, I love how the how smooth the, 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 the graphic is. Holy hell. Okay, so this is how the interface looks like. Make the most of their AC's exceptional movement and attack capabilities. Alright. So what is this if you know okay now? The environment though, holy hell. Holy hell, the environment though. Okay. Obtain a mercenary license. Overwhelm enemies with up to four weapons simultaneously, equipped to each arm and shoulder. Okay. Alright, so on the bottom right, I noticed that there's LB, right B. R B L A right R R A. So I, so I assume L A is some um, left arm, R A is right arm. What does R B stand for though? I'm genuinely curious. Assault boost is one of the core abilities at your disposal, used for both traversal and combat. Okay. And holy hell, the, the, the recovery speed of the boost is ridiculously fast. Yeah, they'll be coming soon. You got us on the run. And then this one. So they... Um, whenever they see... Um, Take full advantage in Gundam, when they see it's, it's, really it's referred as mobile suit, but over here it's referred as AC, okay. Enemy AC. Use boost to take the fight to the air, extending combat dimensions beyond the 2D plane. So the mecha over here in Armor 4 is called AC, okay. Wow. Wow. I mean you can even you can go melee and then you can go range. And I just mean I noticed 
His LA went it over here. Use vertical catapults to gain even more altitude and launch into the action from above. Okay. Holy hell, we'll be fighting against a helicopter? Holy sh... And that helicopter is huge. Holy shit. Is this a boss? This has to be a boss, right? This has to be a boss by right? holy shit. Against tougher enemies, deal impact damage to their attitude uh, control system to temporarily put them out of action. Okay. This is called stagger. And yeah, of course. Is um, is considered a direct hit, dealing heavy damage. Even the bosses have a have a stagger um system. Just like how um some some bosses in uh, in RPG games have where they have a HP bar and a stagger bar and in order to stun the enemy you have to deplete their stagger bar in order to like temporarily um, stun them assembling an AC to fit your own playstyle and strategy is crucial to success ah okay cool cool Got a job for you, 621. This one's a request from the Archivist group. So this is the uh, mission briefing section. Schneider, an Archivist subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bonadea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly ah, to the main generator. I saw this in the... It's protected by a shield, the, which is one powered of the by killers. auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. Okay. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Yeah. Very brief um, mission briefing. <laughs> Time for a little self promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Main system, activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. <laughs> Commence mission. Whenever I hear that, it First, reminds me of Crisis Core, even though I have not played a game yet. Strider. Here, we're up against an enormous weapon that eclipses our AC in size. Okay. Okay. Try my best to pay attention to the gameplay. Ah, oh, okay. So the lock on is um, once it detects uh, an enemy, it will automatically lock on to that particular target. Cool. And oh my, yeah. Once the enemy is down, right, the lock on will go back to its um, original state. Oh, but still, holy shit! This this looks so much fun from the way I see. That's it. If you're telling me that this is a boss fight, I'll be damned. I'll be damned if you tell me that this is a boss fight. Alright, now we've got a foothold to get on the deck. Grab on and get to work on the sub generators. Great. An independent merge. Damn, the music though. I'm genuinely curious who's the one that's uh, that's composing the music. I really, really want to know. Because whoever that's doing the music is do 
is is doing such a magnificent job. I will very very thank the music. Oh my goodness gracious! It really build. You can really feel the tension, the tension of the of the of the fight. And holy shit! Objectives will range from protecting targets and information gathering to the annihilation of enemy forces. Oh, okay. So there's um, so there's different kinds of mission. Okay, cool. I hope that information gathering doesn't require us to go stealth mode. This has to be a boss fight. Blood. Yep, Are you boss fight. Now this is giving me uh, Gundam Extreme vs vibes. This is giving me Gundam Extreme vs vibes. As your campaign progresses, you'll face a number of dangerous situations, and often be pitted against rival AC pilots in bitter duels. Good. You know what? Good. I'm I'm good that they are, we, we are getting this kind of uh, with this kind of boss fights uh, in this game. Because I kid you not, um, this reminds me of Gundam Extreme versus. Oh boy, another another boss fight. Holy shit! The design though. Formidable boss encounters also await you at the end of certain missions. These fights are fast and aggressive, presenting a challenge for even the impossibly powerful AC. Wow, I am amazed. I am amazed, man. By observing the enemy's movements and health, the player can learn as the battle unfolds. This this is going to be fun. Oh my God! It's 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 at least it, it has flame throws as well. Oh my! Oh dear! This should be fun. Thank you for watching. Yo, most that concludes welcome. concludes our introduction to Armored Core Six: Fires of Rubicon. And we that... appreciate your continued support, and look forward to seeing you at launch. I'm getting this game. I'm getting this day. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Wow, the environment, man. Holy shit. Holy shit, the environment, man. Oh, the main music. Come on, come on, man. Uh, whoever is is composing the music for this game should she have a race. She get a race. I kid you not. The... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is how you add a gameplay footage. Oh my goodness. From software, you crazy bastards. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this, the, these are the footages from the, uh, the trailer though. Still. I'm getting this game. I am getting this game. After watching this, I am getting this game. I don't give a damn what other people say. I am getting this game. But whether I'm uh, getting this game on day one or not, I'm not really sure though. Still, I will say this. If that gameplay preview does not convince you to get Armor Core 6, I do know know what it will because the gameplay looks ridiculously awesome and yes um I will say this if you are a 
me a fan of mecha, doesn't matter uh, what what other mecha you're a fan of, it can be Gundam, it can be Gurren Lagan, or it can be um, other mecha series. If you are a fan of mecha, do yourself a favor and go try this game out because from the way I see it, this game is gonna be legit good and I hope From Software does not disappoint.